Hi, I'm Gloria and I have a passion for fashion. So today I wanted to film a video that I promised myself I would never film just because it's overwhelming. Not just to film but also to edit and I have no idea how I'm going to do this but we're going to do it anyway. So yeah, today I wanted to do the trying out everything in my closet video because I can't stop watching those videos and I just thought it would be really interesting to do it but I have to admit it took me a lot of willpower to do so and two days and a lot of editing, I don't know yet but yeah, um, it was a lot of fun to make and I really hope you enjoy it so without further ado, let's get right into this video so for this past quarantine, I have been living out of those hoodies and sweaters. They're just, especially this one, there's just something so comforting about the warmth that it brings me and I don't know, anyway, you can just watch. This sweater, for example, has been a favorite of mine for years, as you can probably tell. So when it came to long sleeve tops, I had actually more than I anticipated, so I guess it's because I'm from Canada, but yeah, I had a lot of them and I also had a lot of them in double, like this one I also happened to have in black. And this black turtleneck, I also happened to have a version that's a little bit more scandalous, which is this one, wait for it. Yeah, my mom hates it too. And by the way, don't you just hate when your blacks don't match? I have a lot of black in my wardrobe and it's such a problem. Anyway, moving on. I have this black top in white and it's a trend, so I'll just let you watch it. Something else that I have quite a lot of are crop sweaters, which is a bit counterintuitive because I can't even wear them, it's either too hot or too cold. But it is 100% cute. Okay, so moving on to t-shirts, we are starting out with the oversized one and proceeding with the form-fitted ones. Um, not much to say about them, a lot of them are hand-me-downs actually. I still think that this t-shirt is the coolest thing I own. But yeah, for example, this t-shirt I got at the Drake concert. A lot of the t-shirts represent an experience or just a phase in my life and I really like my collection. It represents different phases of my life. Almost every single one of them has been my favorite at one point or another. So moving on to tank and crop tops, I really don't know how I justify having so many tank and crop tops when I live in a country that has about two weeks of summer, but I mean, I'll let you know when I figure it out. Yeah, this tank was a super soft material. Oh, and this top kind of makes me feel like an early 2000s love interest where I'm kind of shy, I'm not like other girls, and the guy so wants me. So moving on to pants, I don't have an outrageous amount, but I do have quite a few key pieces. So for example, on a day-to-day -day basis, I have the skinny jeans. I also have the ones with no pockets because we always need those. I also have the typical mounties that everyone had in 2017. I still have them. And I also have more dressy pants that um, really elevate an outfit. So if you've watched my other fashion videos, you know that I'm not a short person, so this is a very short and sweet section. I only have two pairs that are not even ironed, 
and yeah. So moving on to skirts. I have made a few investments, but this skirt is not one of them. I have no clue how to wear it in 2020. I was just following the trend, honestly, and now every time I wear it outside, people think I'm going to prom, and that's not my goal most days. And yeah, I don't even know how to revamp it, so that's a problem and not a good investment. Other than that, most of my skirts I very much enjoy wearing, especially in the summer. Maybe except for this one, which I got dress coded at school a lot for. And this one is a bit too short, so yeah. Moving on to my favorite section of this haul, coats and jackets. So the first jacket is from Walmart. You know what? It's very handy. Love it. And then I have a jean jacket and then I have another jean jacket, which is just my mom's jean jacket. I love it. And yeah, I just love coats and jackets because they can just elevate an outfit with so little effort. It just looks so much better and you should it's a game changer. Don't forget to wash your hands! We are ending this haul on dresses and the very first one is an example as to why you should not follow trends but for most of them i'm very satisfied with them i love wearing them and i completely forgot about them so i will i'm definitely excited to be wearing them this summer and yeah and honestly i'm not much of a bodycon dress kind of gal except when it comes to my prom dress which i bought three years ago and it still looks good i'm thinking of wearing it to my university graduation actually Thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, I really enjoyed making it. Um, if you have any video suggestions for me to do for next time, leave them down in the comment section down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.